Hey guys, Matt Marr here with your Pro Swing Tip of the Week. Today we're going to talk about hitting off a tee and its importance. I know some of you kids think, oh, that's for tee ballers. I don't want to hit off a tee. I want to go in a batting cage or whatnot. Let me give you some names. Derek Jeter, Albert Pujols, Chase Utley, great major league players, all admitted that during games they have went underneath the stadium and hit off a tee. Why is hitting off a tee important? It is the ultimate status report. Let me show you something real quick. See my eyes are open? Now they're closed. Now you just saw me hit the ball with my eyes closed. I'm not special, it's not trick photography. Many baseball players can do that and it's because the ball doesn't move. You think I could do that in BP or in soft toss? No, then it would be a trick. You can do that because the ball doesn't move. That is why hitting off a tee is so important. Any deficiency in your swing, anything wrong with your bat path, you can tell and correct. You can evaluate your swing the best off of a tee. Now let's go over some important facts when using a tee. Okay, I kind of have a side view now so you can see what's going on. Three things you got to go over when you hit with a tee. First, how high or low should the tee be? Now first we want to work on a pitch right down the middle. Eventually we can work on high or low pitches, but for now, down the middle. So I'm going to line this tee up with about my waist. That's going to be my pitch down the middle. Now how far back should we stand? Here's the trick, here's how you do it. Take your bat, line it up perpendicular with the tee. You're going to want to put your front foot about five or six inches behind that bat. Now, how close should we stand to the tee? From where you are there, take your bat, lock it on your back hip, and point it towards the ball. If you have about five or six inches there, that's where you want to stand. So this is where I want to be. Now remember, before I move it to inside, uh, down the middle, outside pitches, learn this. The player never moves. All right, now here's a graphic. This is where we're going to hit a pitch right down the middle. Now, the player doesn't move, the tee does. This is where we hit an inside pitch. We go out and get it. And now this is where we hit an outside pitch, still out in front of a plate. We will call this our hitter's diagonal. Okay, so I know where to stand now. I'm going to put the ball on the tee. This is going to be a pitch right down the middle. Get in my stance, go through my hitter's checklist as we talked about in other videos. And even though there's a wall back there, I'm actually visualizing a pitcher and seeing a pitch come in, because that's where I want to make contact with it. So we're ready to go. Through my hitter's checklist, visualize a pitcher. Here comes the pitch. And there we go. Now, notice the tee fell over. Now, I know the credo is don't knock over the tee. With a firm tee like this, if you hit it and the tee kind of just falls over, that's OK. What you don't want to do is hit it down here and have the tee fly over. That shows that your bat path is no good and you're getting underneath the ball. Real quick, before I hit my inside and outside pitches, I want to show you this special ball that I have. You can do this with any baseball. What I did was I colored the ball in half black because this is where I want to make contact. Let me explain. On an inside pitch, it matters where you hit the ball. Double meaning. It means you want to hit the ball on the black side or the inside part of the baseball when I show you on the tee. Because ideally, where the ball goes, the second part, is all that matters. On an inside pitch, you want to keep the ball fair. Now we're going to do the inside pitch. I have my special ball for this now. Now remember, the player doesn't move, the tee moves. So I move it to where I'd make contact with an inside pitch, and I put the ball on the tee, and I want to hit the inner half of the baseball. Because why? We want to keep this ball fair. So I still go through everything. I'm looking at that inner half. I visualize the pitcher. Here comes the pitch. And there we go. I kept the ball fair. The tee barely fell over, which means good contact. And I hit my inside pitch where I wanted to hit it. Now I'm very close to the net here, so you might have seen the net fly out. If I was dead middle in the cage, that would have been right down the line, a fair ball. And now we're going to work on the outside, OK? Coaches say, let the ball get deep, usually. Now let me show you. I don't want to confuse you. When you let the ball get deep, you're going to make contact with your outside pitch over here. Not back here. You don't get it deep behind home plate. We still want to make contact out in front. So this is where we're going to want to hit our outside pitch, right about there. Special ball right there. Want to hit the inner half. And I still am doing everything. I'm visualizing my pitcher. I'm in my stance. And here we go. I see the pitch. All right, guys, here's a game you can play. You don't need anything but a tee, a bat, and a ball. It's called hitting the back of the cage. This is a great thing to do to know if you're working the right way on your swing. Now, these are going to be 10 pitches down the middle. You're going to put 10 balls on the tee. Not at the same time, obviously. And what I'm going to be doing is still visualize my pitcher. I'm still working, but I want to hit the back of the cage as many times as I can in 10 pitches. Let's keep track. So I line up, batter's checklist. I know where I am. 
I'm good to go, aiming for the back of the net. Hit the back of the net, the tee fell over, it didn't go flying over, so I know that was a good swing. I'm one for one. Do this 10 times and see how many you can get out of 10. Okay guys, just to recap, today we talked about hitting off a tee. We talked about how big leaguers do it, how it is the ultimate status report for your swing. Why? Because the ball is not moving. Any deficiencies, anything wrong with your swing, your bat path, or your body, you can find out by hitting off a tee. Remember, we always make contact in front of the plate. The player doesn't move, the tee does. Make sure, as a variation, which I didn't show you today, is on your inside, your middle, and your outside pitches, change the pitch height. We worked solely on pitches down the middle. Work on low inside, high outside. Work on everything when you're hitting off a tee. I guarantee it is one of the greatest tools you can use as a hitter. Thanks for watching this week's edition of Pro Swing's Tip of the Week. Tune in next week for another tip that's gonna make you a better baseball player.